I have the singular pleasure to do the introduction of the first speaker. Now, permit me to say some one or two things about our first speaker. Our first speaker is a current legal practitioner. He has two bachelor's degrees. I think most of you here are now working hard to get one, eh? He has two of them. And I can see from your faces that because of the deadline you have, the exam, the upcoming exam, most of you probably did not sleep or you, you didn't sleep properly or you slept and you woke up and you were very angry at yourself. But this man has two bachelor's degrees. He has a BA in sociology from the University of Ghana and he did an LLB here at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Soros and Tears. Do you know that university? He did it here, through Soros and Tears. <laughs> if you know, you know. He, he <laughs> prior to practicing law, he worked as a broadcast journalist. So he's a professional broadcast journalist. Mr. Kankam has over 20 extracurricular activities throughout his years in education. He has involved himself in a lot of volunteer activities and he has amassed a lot of experiences in different capacities under different circumstances. Ladies and gentlemen, I cannot say all that I want to say and therefore join me with a round of applause. Let us welcome Mr. Kankam. Good morning. Last night I spoke to the CEO of this organization around 9.30 p.m. And I slept after 11 because I was doing some small studies. I got up around 2.30, decided to rest for about 30 minutes in bed and then started my preparation. By 4.26, I had set off from Sunyane, driving all the way to Kumasi. Had it not been the traffic at Ebuakwa, I would have been here before 6 o'clock. So please, time is what? Money. Have it at the back of your mind. My topic is not a topic, but a topic. Personality profile the pains and the gains. When we say personality profile, we are not referring to anything, but we are referring to what someone is. Abena, how are you? I have my daughter here. She is reading law. And she is my girlfriend. Okay, when she matures, some of you will come. <laughs> and I will release her to you. Please, my topic is personality profile, the pains and the gains. I was born into concubinage. My dad and mom never married. They did not marry. So I am a bastard. But is that not the case? My father was a teacher. He retired as an assistant director of education. Yet, from my class one or crutch education to where I am today, in fact, he passed on in 2007, April. There was no way he could account for 500 Ghana cities of my education or what I am today. In fact, when he died, I was having my first degree political science and sociology. I am 47 years. And I have 20 years experience in marriage. In fact, today and tomorrow will be my 20th anniversary in marriage. So about three days ago, I tested my girlfriend and said, good morning, how are you? Exactly 20 years ago today, you couldn't have responded to this because you were nowhere to do so. That was the day I and mommy got married. Please, I am saying all these things to positively provoke you 
to ginger you up for you to know that it doesn't come on a silver platter. You will not get certain things on the screen. I have not prepared any speech. So mine will be extemporic. It will just come from here. So try to pen down those things you think they will help you. Others will be digression. Don't mind me. Put them aside. I am saying that my father was a teacher, yet he was not doing what was expected of a teacher. You go to my father for your school fees, and immediately he sees you, this man will sleep. In fact, my father and mother were not living. I said, they, they went into concubinage, gave birth to me, and then parted ways. Okay, I hope you get the point I'm trying to make. All right. You go to this man who is a teacher who will tell somebody, go and tell your father to come and pay your school fees. Yet, he wouldn't pay my school fees. I remember there was a time I went to my father, and uh, this is the story he told me. He said, na na otoka. Or the car no echi echi rene mami fee. Na we be a car ni boot. Na wa can semi mami fee for a near my go car no muni na mo me. Na wa de car no any mafia ni papa fee. Na wa can semi be two car no. Into where we gen any mo be a one sorry wa. Me to me car. I hope everybody here can speak some amount of tree. My friend from Upper West. Did you appreciate the point I was trying to make? Not all that. Well, what I'm trying to say is there was a time I went to my father for a school fees and what he told me was, when you take care, you provide for a child and he becomes somebody and buys a vehicle, he will put the boot of the vehicle towards the mother's house. I will call those people. Those people facing the boot, there are some goodies over there. Come and pick them. Then, he will... As it were, point the bonnet or the front side to the father's house and say, hey, I am about to move my car. If you don't give me way, so be it. This was my father. Okay? Now, as you sit here, as you sit here, you all have a dream. I had a dream. My father was about to shut it, but I decided not to give him the chance. So write it down. Don't let anyone shut your dream. Don't let anyone shut your dream. Because the key to success is in your hand, in your pocket, or under your lock. And you, and you, and you alone as the key, you and you and you alone have the key to either lock it or unlock it. Now, in this world, there are few people who get it on a silver platter. We have some few people who get it on a silver platter. When you go to uh, if you should read the law cases, in fact, my daughter might have read it. I, mean, I hope you know Lord Denny. Lord Denny wrote the O level. You people wrote SSS. Is that not the case? And Lord Denny, all over the world, if not the best, he is among the best judges that we have ever had on this earth. He wrote O level, what you people call it SSS. He wrote it for the 11th time. Before he went to six form. In fact, during our time, we attended secondary school for seven years. Secondary school alone for seven years. The first five years, we were calling it O level, ordinary level. Then from ordinary level, if you should pass everything, if you should qualify, 
you go to advanced level, you pick three of the subjects that you did at O level, then you advance in them before you come to the university. Lord Denny wrote O level for 10 good times he couldn't pass. It was the 11th time that he passed. So the point I am trying to make is very few people will have it on the silver platter. It doesn't matter the number of times that you fall. What matters most is the number of times that you are able to get up. Right? So, have this also at the back of your mind. There is something I don't want to hear. And I want to believe if somebody is doing that here from here, the person is going to discard it. I don't have any helper. I don't have any helper. Now let me tell you. God gave us our head to think. Sadly enough, before we don't use our head to think. That is why Somebody will go to Europe. And then the first time the man goes to the Europe, he goes to the refuse dump. In fact, uh, my first time of going to Europe was 20, 28th of August to 25th of September. I spent 28 days, 29 days in Europe. And I went to six good countries. Within 28 days, I was able to go to Holland, Spain, Italy, France, Belgium, and Germany. I did one day transit at Dubai. Now, when you go to Europe and you go to the refuse site, maybe I got a higher friend of ball also. You can see nice, nice fridges, nice, nice air condition, better ones like the one standing here. Obibinia will free Ghana, Franchine, Bra Watching, Enibrekum Nipa. The first thing he does is to pick this and then carry it. And in Europe, they are the security men. In fact, I think either someone is mad or he just came into this country illegally. The amount of load he or she is carrying is untold of. Please get rid of him. I am saying God gave us our head to think. But before you did this one, you make it So, so what? Now, the other way, you know, maybe me need to go for me and Now, let me tell you my story. I went to a secondary school where I was not taught grammar. When I went to secondary school form one. The person who taught me English did geography at Legon. In secondary school form two, the person who taught us English went to IPS. What is the current name for IPS? UG something, something, something. Come again. UPSC. He did accountancy, diploma in accountancy. He taught us English. In secondary school form three, the man who taught us English completed what we were calling it post medal. We didn't attend JSS. We attended what was known as middle school, 10 years education. After middle school, before completion, if you are able to pass your common entrance, you go to secondary school. If not, you complete the middle school and either go to um, technical school or teacher training college. During that time, we were calling them uh, set B, set A. Then those people who went to secondary school and went to training college, we called them POSEC. The man who taught us English in secondary school form three, completed middle school. He did not go to secondary school, went to training college, did set B, came back and was teaching us English. Okay. In Form 4, 
secondary school form four, the person who taught me English majored in economics from University of Ghana. In secondary school form five, the man who taught us English majored in, he had diploma in French from Winneba. Okay, you people are lucky. He had his diploma in French from Winneba. So let me make a confession. In fact, confession saves the soul. I got to secondary school form four before I stopped writing to went. You are laughing. You are lucky. Nobody could teach us grammar. All that they could teach was comprehension. That's all. No grammar, no summary, no phonetics. So me, my pronunciation, you know, I did it on my own, and I am proud of it. Okay? So the syndrome that I have no one helping me, please, put it elsewhere. Now let me tell you something. I read law for five years. My daughter will bear me out. I read law for five years without any employment, without any parent supporting me. Five years of legal education. I started broadcasting as a CIS for my secondary school. And uh, I completed CIS form in 1996. Married a mother in 1999, 27th November 1999. Okay. I stayed in the home, uh, went to university in 2003. How many years? Seven good years. Now, what gingered me to go to university was a question that Abna might ask me that I had in Wanko University. And all along, I had wanted to pursue law. But at the time I was going to the university, the law, it was only University of Ghana that was teaching law that time. And it was a postgraduate course. When we say, I hope you know what a postgraduate course is. Yeah. So I had to go and read sociology, political science, and then linguistics. Look, in the Bible, or in world map, those of you reading geography, the free Mizrim, Ekokeina, we had a very short way, which by three days, the Israelites could have made it to Cana. Yet, God made them suffer on the desert in the wilderness for how many years? Forty good years. Do you know the reason why? It was to prepare them. It was to train them. It was to propel them. It was to make them adequate for the battle ahead. So it drew baby and miss. But it drew baby and susua many days. Probably you say she is having it on the silver platter. Yes. She has it on the silver platter. But at times, I make her suffer before she gets it. It is a lifestyle. At times, it will be there. At times, it will not be there. But when it is there and she wants it, her other siblings want it. I make them suffer. I delay before I give certain things. It is a principle. I just want them also to prepare themselves so that in future, if I am no more, which is possible, they should be able to fend for themselves. Look, I have smoked before. Not ganja. Not we, not Indian hair. I've smoked embassy. I hope many of you know it. Embassy. It's a cigar. I remember there was one afternoon my mother had gone to the farm. I was in the house. And whilst walking, whether it was by the divine intervention of God or it was by Satan's activity or by negligence of someone, I found 10 cities. It wasn't 10 Ghana cities. 10 cities. I was very hungry. But stupid enough, Instead of using that money to buy food and eat, I went to a shop, bought cigarettes, embassy, three sticks. I came to the house and then picked matches, went into the Roman Catholic primary school class four. I remember very well. 
It was vacation. I maneuvered my way through, opened one of the windows, entered it, and then locked it. And within two minutes, I had finished smoking three sticks of Ambezi. So my mother came home, food was prepared. And whilst eating it, I didn't know whether I was eating or it was someone who was eating. And I said, say and a smoking tear there. All right. So some of you here, don't try it. Because you might not be able to come out of it. Please don't try it. I am saying don't try it. Because you might not be able to come out of it. Now, let me tell you another story. In my secondary school education, Form 1, first term, do you have first term, second term, and third term? Yeah. We went to secondary school in September, October, thereabouts. Then we did some small exams. We came home for the SMS break. Second term, we went, we did exams, and then we came home. Third term, I didn't go to school, Form 1, because nobody was there to pay my school fees. So I was in the house one afternoon, and a senior member of mine, he is now working with, I think, Electoral Commission. In fact, apart from secondary school, O-level, he couldn't continue education again. He came to me and said, we had an announcement this afternoon when we went for assembly that based on your first term and second term performance, you have been promoted to Form 2. His name is Emmanuel Yeboa. Based on your first term and second term performance, you have been promoted to Form 2. So what could I do? I just went. And now let me tell you, about three, four years of my secondary school education, I went to secondary school with pullover, every day, sweater. A man of friends in Cardigan. Yeah, your friend of sweater. You've been a friend of pullover. You could have a friend of sweater. Okay? There was no shirt inside. Whether the weather was hot or cold, I was in this sweater. So please, what I want to tell you is, somebody, something else, a situation, an environment, may discourage you from pursuing what you intend to do. But don't give up. I've been a mason before, mason apprentice before. I've been a bookman. Who knows who a bookman is? Okay, lorry station, I can't load it here. Nipa no load in here, man. I now just drive by no sokola fi akakra. I have done it before. I've been a driver's mate, a planky, medi mate, pain. I've been a town crier. Who knows who a town crier is? Gong gong bitter. The wuboni. Hmm. My body will be pain. Medi adopa pain. Concrete pain. After secondary school form five, O level, I got division one, which was the best among all the students. But I had to go to Aquetia to do Garamsi. Matu Garamsi pain. Do we have anyone from Aquetia, Eastern region here? A Subone, number one, number two, number three, number four. I know all these places. In 1993, I was there as a Garamsi. Let me do Okay? You feel some parts itching you. Then you bring your leg or the part out of the water. That animal was doing nothing but entering your body. They call it anonym. I don't know the English name. So please, your brain is open. After I completed my first degree, I went back and gave the certificate to my employers, Ghana Broadcasting Corporation, and they told me they didn't give me steady leave. So there was no way 
they could recognize that certificate from University of Ghana. So I was still taking the secondary school salary. Two years down the line, I said, no. I came to KNUST here, wrote the entrance exams for LLB. We came, we were 1,130. Then they called 92 for interview. The 92, they picked 72. And the 72, they made 12 regular. And then 60 part-timers. I was among the regular students. We did it for three years at the faculty. Then we went to the law school for two years. All this while, I was not working. Abena was there. Her younger sister, who is now in the secondary school, was also there. So what I did was, during vacation, I would join a law fair. I said, Senior, I was married I was married you. Humility is the hallmark of anyone you, you think he or she is successful. The guy I was carrying his books, you know, more than 10 years. At the end of the day, from court, we come, then 10 cities will be given to me. 10 cities will be given to me. So when we were about to reopen school, baby, I'm a I go there and say, I have 400 Ghana CDs here. Give me a loan of 600 Ghana CDs. Then they will keep the 400 and give me the 600. At times, go to the faculty of law. My letters are there. When we are about to write exams, I will write to the dean of faculty. They are say, permission to write exams. Then I start using my small, small brothel. My name is Bra Bra Bra, we student, I'm Bra Bra Bra. I am a student whom, because of this course, I've lost my job. Let me write the exams, withhold the results. During vacation, I will work and come and pay. I remember there was a time I took a loan of 400 Ghana cities from SL Microfinance. Because I couldn't pay, when I was paying, I paid them 1,600. I took a loan of 400 Ghana cities, but the interest was compound interest. So I paid 1,600 Ghana cities. Please, I am saying all these things not to discourage you, but to encourage you to know that it doesn't come on a silver platter. Think of doing something for yourself. Think of vacation attachment. The Bible says, this is not a Christian program, but let me quote the Bible. Matthew chapter 6, verse 33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all others shall be added unto you. The word shall in law is mandatory. In Latin, we say it is mandamus, whether God likes it or not. Once you have your certificate, once you have what it takes to be what you need to be, there is a way. Now, these are some of the pains. Let me tell you some of the gains. As a burden lawyer, when we say burden lawyer, someone, in fact, I'll practice law for, I, I'll end my mind, blah, 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 now, now. About two, three minutes time, I will end it. I practice law for seven years. When we say you are a burden lawyer, it means fresh from school. Okay? But I have made 8,000 Ghana cities in a day. Hmm? Not a month ago, a day, I have made 8,000 Ghana cities. Many million at your watch in a day. These are some of the gains. My words are money. You come to me and I give you a sheet of paper. I write this letter as solicitor for Abner Sidwa can come where we hear him after referred to as my client. My client instructs me that on the 27th of November 2018, she supplied you 20 bags of maize at a cost of 20,000 Ghana cities. Despite several demands on you, you have flatly refused to pay this. Please pay my client on or before 30th of November 2019. Or I have my client instruction to institute an expensive fashion against you without any further recourse to you. I would take not less than 500 Ghana cities. Just this short, 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 short. So my words are what? Money. These are some of the gains. At times, I'll be walking in town. If you should ask Abner, she will tell you, 
especially weekend Saturdays. Oh, me come home from Kribia, but me call office. Meet me at the chili water. I've been asking them to fry chili water. No, more about food. Didn't be a more fry chili water. Mon come and meet you. Oh, you have the microphone. No, 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 no. Tough. Mm -hmm. How do you call it? Flip. Hmm. Meshe chale wate. Edi ane nankuru. Meshe nika. Meshe t-shirt. Oh, lawyer. Mesro ma sembina me pese. Me no oka. No. Ahayi inti me nkano ha. Oh, lawyer. Asem kakrebe me se shwe. Uni mse biya me nina hekura sebe kafre. Asante foka se afode mi. Asemu ni mafo. Be a for the men I in a hand cancer. No, come to the office. You come to the office before I listen to you. At least the least I would take before I listen to the story. 200 Ghana cities. Okay, we can go to court. Go and bring this. You, you have heard a lot of the pains, but the gains are many. Time will not permit me. No week goes away without receiving something on. Mobile phone, MTN, blah, 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 blah. Every week, by the grace of God, I receive something. You come to me, Master, what is now your quack could you know? What kappa will be to your legal fee? Hey, 5,000 for 2,000, but what's here? Your court court, Bebia, Brekuma, Bejo, Laura Fair, Henry Garner Cities. And I pile up the cases. It's not intentional, it's a professional work. You pile up the, you add about four, five, six cases. You go to Brekun one day. One of the cases, the judge will say, I'm not prepared to listen to this matter today. You've taken your money. Henry Garner said, TNT, it is here. The other one, the judge says, you, the defendant, I told you to prepare this document. You haven't done it. Cost of 600 Ghana cities against you. Pia Bonta, ah, lawyer, why are there? Pa, by general cost, 600 Ghana cities. Oh, dear, 300. I am speaking my, my dialect. Bono. Mm. I remember just last Thursday, I went to Brekun. From Sunyane to Brikumi is about 18 kilometers and came back with TNT of more than 1,000 Ghana cities. But said the urban, Sahan Echo. Okay? So I am saying all these things to ginger you, to positively provoke you, to encourage you, to push you, to let you know that there is a light after the tunnel. At the end of the tunnel, there is a light. Don't joke with your education. Don't joke with your tie. And don't joke with what you intend doing. Indeed, and in fact, the ultimate of any science student is to become who? A medical doctor. Is that not the case? And the ultimate of any art student is to become who? A lawyer. So I am encouraging you, but put that one aside and then drive towards your passion. Shakespeare is saying that if you know how to sweep, sweep like I write my poems. So when him said he see pra pra, come on, come on, he said he must make my poems. I leave you with nothing. May God bless you. Um, thank you very much, lawyer. <laughs> yes. So I, I was just trying to see if I could chew over all of that. So um, we are so grateful. So if I personally, if I forget anything at all, I remember Lord Denning failed the A-levels 11 times. O-levels, cry, any A-level. Ordinary level, not the advanced, Charlie. And then there are so many other things. Please, 15 minutes, we're going to have the chance to ask any sorts of questions. It could be a little digression from what lawyer discussed with us. You just put your microphone on and then you ask the question. But first, put up your hand so that I'll see you so we don't have too many microphones on at a time. Any questions? Yeah. Your name and then your question. Yeah. My name is Hadi Wumpini Al Hassan. Yeah. Looking at your speech or considering your speech, it's like the law is very crucial or is, is, is recreative. So I want to ask, the way it is recreative now, so can you 
do you have any danger ahead in future or you don't as as a lawyer you don't have anything to fear in future okay all right the question is Let it, yeah it's okay let us take another question okay. yes your name and your question oh uh, i'm alex Kwekufobi. alex yeah um, so far, I've um, realized that your determination and then humility sent you this far. I would like to ask if religion um, had an impact on your success. Maybe Christianity or something also had an impact on your success. Religion? Yeah. Okay. Next question. Alex, thank you. Next question. Yes. Your name and your question. Um, I also want to ask. Like, Your name. Uh, sorry, my name is Ejekun Benjamin. Benjamin. Okay. Yeah, and I want to ask, what kept you moving upon all the pains you went through? What was your main motive? As in, what kept you moving? What Thank kept you. the axe Ooh. grinding? <laughs> okay, I think he got that. Next question. As you were speaking, you said. Oh, S sorry. Your name. Angela. Okay. Yes, please. Um, you said you were wondering what you would tell Abna if she asked why you didn't go to the university. So is it that you had a passion for law or you just wanted to do something because you had to keep moving? Was it a passion? Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Angela. Um, shall we take okay. this? Okay, let's take the last one. Okay. We have four here. The fifth one. Fifth question, so that he can take them one after the other. The fifth one, yes. Hey, Charlie, they will ask two questions. Uh, we'll come to you. Let us pick him. Yeah. yeah. Second round, we'll come to you. I think we have 15 minutes. Yes. So we'll come back to you. Don't we'll forget. We'll come back it. to you. Uh -huh. So write it down. Yes. Okay. Um, I'd like to ask if um, you have any regrets. Your name. Your name. Alex. Alex, okay. Yeah, if you have any regrets if you made decisions you wouldn't have liked to have made before so that uh, those of us upcoming wouldn't uh, make such mistakes also. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Okay, I have my mic here. All right. Uh, Arhasan, you are asking, is the law the law is, you can see, law is lucrative. Is there any fear or any danger ahead? Yes. <clears throat> if you play your cards very well and you die and heaven doesn't exist, you lose nothing. Is that not the case? But if you don't play your cards well and you die and there is heaven, you lose something. Do you agree with me? So, law is such that it is a profession in which at least every day, on the average, every day, you will see some amount of money. But every day, you will part with some money as well, especially if you are in private practice. Hmm? Every day, you will see some amount of money, but every day, some amount of money, at times even more than what you receive, will leave you. I have done public sector employment for 11 years. No, no, no. 10 years here, 2 years here, I think 13 years. So I have my Senate sitting elsewhere. My Senate contribution sitting elsewhere waiting for me. In fact, just last month, I went to them that we should start for me to top up. Okay? So... If you get money <clears throat> and you don't keep some, you don't invest some, there is a danger ahead. For me, I know of only two investments, take it or leave it. There are only two investments in Ghana here that I know, education. Hmm? The second one, A, cement, B, sand, asan. 
For me to keep my money in any microfinance investment, and I'm going to get to the end of the year, 60%. No. So some people, out of a dufudie, out of greediness, who send their money to DKM, God is love, uh, who, who is Satan. You see, if you want to save your money to avoid some dangers ahead, Ghana Commercial Bank is there. The interest is, I think, 3 or 4%. ADB is there. The interest is about 6%. NIB is there. But those who hold your names, financial institutions, who do see Kako Kosheho no more, it is a risk. Ghana Commercial Bank, so the danger ahead is that as a private practitioner, every week, every day, you will see some money. But if you don't invest the money, all right, that danger is there. You have to keep some of the money elsewhere. Because if you should do private practice so without paying some it, and then you chop everything, one way you that chain. Unless I could say you have determination that Christianity had an impact. No, did Christianity have an impact on you? Is that not your question? Alex, is that not your question? Thank you. Uh, it is true. In fact, I was not born into Christianity. I sent my mother, my grandmother, and my other siblings to church. I was not born into Christianity. Uh, sorry to say this. If so, there is someone here, or a colleague, Roma, are sorry, they will not come to you and preach. Or if you are a student or a people of Roman Catholic school, by all means, 80 70 percent of the children will go to Roma, are sorry. Uh, during my infancy, Mikorumi Asori Kakra, Kwesiada Kwesiada. Then I stopped because nobody was telling me to go. Around 13, 14, I went to Church of Pentecost. They couldn't nurture me. So for about six, seven months, I left and sat home. Uh, somewhere, 5th April 1992 was when I was baptized into the Church of Christ. And they monitored, they nurtured, and they mentored me. So, do we have any Church of Christ member here? Yeah, I've been a member of the Church of Christ for the past 27 years. Next year, 5th April, will be my 28th anniversary, okay, in the church. So, I'm a Christian. I'm not an angel, but I am a Christian. Yes, Christianity had impact on me. Your question too, was there a regret of making a decision? Yes. Um, there was a day, in fact, my first degree, Legon, I shuttled between Sumyani and Accra. During that time, 2003 to 2000, the communication network like what you have, WhatsApp, internet, and those things were not common in Ghana here. So I remember there was a day from Sunyani to Accra. At times I could go to Accra, go to campus, just pick reading materials, and then return to Sunyani. Because if I don't come to work, they will sack me. And during that time, I didn't have my feet all that on the ground. So there was a time we set off at Sunyani. It was night. When we got to Edukrum, it is on Kumasi Accra Road, we had an accident. So I regretted traveling that night. Again, there was a day at KNUST, my five years of reading law. You see, here person at Metro Mass, na Bano. So if I am here, KNUST here, and I saw that I had only four or five Ghana cities on me, I will use 70 pesos. I walk from KNUST to Tech Junction, pick Trotro to Abrepo, then Metro Mass to Sunyane. At times, I could set off 3 a.m. for 2.30 a.m. from Sunyane and get here by 6 a.m. to attend lecture. There was a day I was coming for lectures and it rained heavily. So that day, 
I say confession is good for the soul. You can say rade, na day. Because I was coming, it was raining. I had to pass through the rain. So ebijai, mami nko menim kakra ebijai, ebijai. By the time I got to the station, I was soaked. There was no way I could come. So I said rade, na day. Oh, minjai ko sui kura ye. Mami nko pe mi baby, entana na. But it has paid off. Amen. We are not in the church. <laughs> um, Benjamin, what kept you moving? It was passion. It was what? Passion. Because um, during my childhood, around 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 years, in our hometown, our family house was the biggest during that time. So that was the place for cinema, for concerts, magic. You people, you didn't see, have you, have you seen magic before? Yeah, okay. So there was a time, I think I was in class two then. The cinema man came and the film he showed for the side attraction, the one they would show before the main film would be shown, was about a court setting. And I saw a lawyer, you know, having his suit well tight, having his gun and wig and everything, and it was making an argument, cogent and relevant one. My Lord, my Lord is me, my Lord, my Lord, that is no fairness. My, my Lord, in the face of fairness, I think you ought to exercise your discretion in favor of my client. My Lord, bail, bail is a... It's a discretionary power. So my Lord, you and you alone have it. My Lord, your hands are not shaking. But the way manner the lawyer was dramatized, the way manner he was flown, the way manner he was giving out, he was doing some legal gymnastics for his client to get the deal. I think that was, if not 40 or 50 percent, that was one of those things that kept me. Because I was in class too then. I didn't know who a lawyer was. But I asked someone, and the person told me, this man is a lawyer. So when we were the other, yes, Benjamin. Angela, what will you tell Abena? Was there a passion for law? Yes. You know what? Let me tell you something. Abena, from her life, P4, P5, P3, thereabout, made a made medicine, made a medicine. So when I completed law, I think she was in JHS 1. There was a time, and for me, I discussed certain, there are certain things I will discuss it with you. And then we saw her, I may not be who here, but I may not for you to know that I am serious. On a very trivial issue, we will fight. I want her to know that I am serious about it. So there was a time she came to me and asked, Daddy, law, no, Eddie, Anna. And I said, Eddie, but you partner not Human beings are doing it. I said, why? He said, I've had a change of mind. I want to pursue law. I said, okay, go ahead. So when, when she was about to complete her SSS, he said I should buy a waiting forms for her. I said, ah, are you sure you are prepared? He said, oh, dad, go ahead. Buy the waiting forms for me. I bought the waiting forms. The results came. UCC gave her law. Ken UST gave her law. University of Ghana gave her sociology, social work, religions. <laughs> but she attended SSS in the central region. So I said, then come to Kumase, which is somehow closer to Sunyane, and also have experience from another region. Okay, so there was a passion. There was a passion. And I discussed certain things with her, but there is one thing I want to say. If you want to pursue a passion, and your father is also pursuing that pa passion, Depend on him financially. Let him provide for you financially. But professionally, don't depend on him or her. Okay? And I thank God since she started this call, there, there has not been a single day that she's called me and said, that we mean What I mean, go and learn it. Okay? I remember the first thing I did for her was when she was about to come to school, I brought her to the library. We went around and I, I taught her how to pick the laws, how to select the laws, how to know where to find the law. That was, I think we did that discussion for about 10, 15 minutes, and then we left the library. Apart from that, she doesn't, and she cannot call me. 
to ask me, Daddy, what is the meaning of this? Her duty is to learn. My duty is to pay. Another segment of questions. So, okay, your question. Please, my name is Fusu Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Yeah. In connection with Alex's question, I'm pursuing my passion, but I have made a never regretful mistake. I want to move on, but still it's haunting me. What should I do? Come again, please. My question is, as I'm pursuing my passion, mm -hmm. I've made a never regretful mistake. Mm -hmm. I want to move on, but it still haunts me. What should I do? Okay, thank you. You've made a mistake in pursuing your passion. Sure. You want to drop it, and you want also to go ahead, but it is still haunting you. Haunting me. You know what? Let me tell you one thing. As a human being, have some principles. The fear of making a mistake is the greatest mistake on this earth. The fear of making a mistake. Okay? The fear of making a mistake is itself the greatest mistake on this earth. Apart from God, we are all fallible. We can fall. And I think I did mention during my presentation that it is not about the number of times that you fall or you fail. It is about the number of times that you are able to do what? Get up. Once you think that is your passion, pursue it. Okay? Once you think that is your passion, pursue it. Let me use a personal experience to answer that question. You see, all along I had wanted to pursue law, but when I told you when I went to Legon, law was postgraduate. So when I was at the third year, of reading sociology, linguistics, and political science at Legon. I heard Ken USC had started LLB, that is law. There was a day I sat down and said, no, 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 no. If Ken USC has started it, why not run away from here and go and do it? Then I said, hey, okay, you're also in the third year. By next year, you will complete. If you should complete, it is a degree. You can keep it. And then if you get this one too, you can add it. In fact, I've spent nine years of my life in the university. Okay? So if I had not taken the decision, if I was not bold enough to say no, this one also is a degree. Then I go for it. And now I pride myself. And so be there. But I pride myself. Say, me me a sociology degree that whole. Okay. Law degree that home was certificate from Radio Ghana Training School, was certificate from Ghana School of Law, barrister and solicitor or Supreme Court of Ghana. So, madam, if you make a mistake, you see there are some mistakes which are pardonable. Oh, oye oye oba oku school wafu flu wakwemo yankonko ya abortion and I am wakrano. I'm not talking now as a Christian. I'm talking as someone who wants to help others to move ahead. Young Koya abortion. And I am Wakurano. Or Wakuran, we are Unko school, and now on Tenefi. The decision is yours to make. But I think when two devils approach you for your vote, you vote for the lesser one. Two devils will come before you. Oh, vote for me. I will do this. I will do this. You vote for the lesser one when you have no option. Is that not the case? So please, if there are options, why a mistake? Don't let a, a mistake, you know, if I want to for more, get up and tell yourself the fear of making a mistake is itself the greatest mistake on this earth. Let us come to you for the last time. Mm -hmm. um, please, my name is Joseph Ando. I your, your name? Joseph Ando. Oh. Okay, Joseph Ando. Yes, I wanted to know, I wanted to find out how you were able to combine your time with your studies. Because those of us, we are not working, but it seems that the time is not enough for us. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. This morning, my good friend was asking me whether I knew one Mr. Adongo. He used to teach at Hope College. He was my junior at University of Ghana, Legon, one year junior. I was ahead of him one year. And the wife of Adongo was my classmate. The name is Gloria. Gloria had a first class in sociology. Sociology religions, first class. I have, don't, this one, don't tell anyone. No. I have my second lower. Don't tell anyone. Okay. 
I combined marriage, work, schooling, fathering. I was fathering her as a student. So what I did was, especially when I came to KNUST, those days that I had nothing on me, I had to go back to home. When going, I would pick some books. About four or five of them. Then I would go. When I go, I would lock the door. Four or five hours. Hmm? Inside the room. And learn, even if I was flipping through. Five hours, I would do that. Okay. After the five hours, I would say, okay, my baby kakra, let me go out. But for you to go and stay there, kura, wunye bibi ya. Then when it is about to exams, hey, my geography knows no way. Where is my enkete enkete? Do you know what is enkete enkete? Do you know it? I have done it a lot. So please, do it. In the course of studying, I will do my enkete enkete. So when it is time for exams, I don't go for the main books, the main notes, or whatever. My enkete enkete. Okay. So that was why I was able to combine work School, marriage, and other things. At times, deny yourself certain things. Oh, me na fufu ipa kansen ka yebeko kenyu esti pull side yo Charlie. Ewe nka yebeko hopa, but no. For the sake of what is ahead of me, because I am unable to sit in classroom for the lecturer to lecture me. Let me pick the book. Sit now. Apportion time for yourself and be honest with that. Commit yourself to the tie. Five hours, four hours, I want to read, I want to learn. After the five hours, I will go out. At least there will be something in here. In the absence of nothing, bad is what? Good. In the absence of nothing, bad is good. Compare my situation then, sitting behind the booth for three, four hours, to someone who did not, as it were, open any book. Neither did he come to lecture, to be taught. Who would be better off? It will be myself. So, oh, Charlie, I think, I think I am done. I think I am done. Madam, see me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, I am done. See me one-on-one. -on -one. Shall we give him a big, big round of applause? Thank you so much, lawyer. It was to go for a very long way to have him part on us. Or you can do it. Whilst he sits, he can do it one more time. <clears throat>